What's going on? How y'all doing? This video going to be about former prosecutor Richard Jackson in Dallas, who was recently lost his uh, license permit. He barred because he knowingly held back evidence for two black men who were forced to death row for spent 14 years for falsely. They were falsely in prison for killing a murder in the past, which they didn't do. And he knowingly knew he had the evidence. Now, you know what's going to happen. It's bound to have been other cases where he knowingly did stuff like this. And you knowingly know they're going to have to throw those out. Just like they should make him do at least five to ten years for falsifying and withholding evidence. Because you know he's in on it. First things first, let's just call the elephant out the room a little bit, shall we? The guy obviously has to hate black folks, something awful, because you know only doing this racially. And Q&A, Ku Klux Klan, it's all connected to law. We talk about systematic, institutionalized racism all the time. So he's probably thinking, well, a couple blacks, oh well. And I have to say it like that because it has happened more often than not. Judges have done it. Police do it. And you see what's happened with that uh, joke of a district attorney in North Carolina, Elizabeth City, with Andrew Brown Jr., what he's doing. I mean, the knowingly will sit there and justify lynchings or falsely, or falsely lock you up without just cause. So you can't trust them, you know. The system has always been stacked against black folks. And so when this guy gets barred, which, you know, all those cases are going to have to be re-examined, you know. So when you doing this legally, what does that say about the judge? What's that say about the defensive, defense attorney? Don't think that it ain't an acting job when they come together with the judge. and then It's like a big Broadway production, big Hollywood movie production. The star, director, the producer all comes together. They all agree on this. You're black and you ain't got the money. And they go against you. No one is questioning. And this goes on for years. 14 years. And it's been going on for decades. So you know this cat. Probably put a lot of black folk away. And thought it was a joke. Now it cost him his law license. It should cost him his freedom for that. Or put that behind the house arrest for 10 years. But I always say, for the haters, sentence them to the hood. Put them in the neighborhood. Because to me, that would be the turning point. Put them in the hood. See how they make it. Not, I'm not penitentiary. Because you want to know about that working. Put your behind in the hood. See how you can understand the rules of hood life. And then get back to me if you can make it out of there in a month. Because most of these turkeys, they'll, believe it or not, they might find a way to make it in jail or in prison. But going to the hood with hood rules, hmm, be a different ball game. Especially when they see you and know what you're about. That's all I got to say about that, about Richard Jackson. And this is just a sad travesty, but this goes on in the legal world. A lot of Anyway, give me your thoughts and takes about uh, former prosecutor Richard Jackson uh, purposely holding black information on black men. And he got disbarred. But anyway, please hit the like, subscribe, and welcome thoughts and comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for one another. And uh, when we talk about systematic institutionalized racism, all forms of law are guilty as charged. I'm out.